What's good, everybody? Uh, once again, we're back with another video, and this time it is about the latest GeForce NVIDIA driver that is uh, Watch Dogs Game Ready. Uh, now, this driver is specifically intended towards performance, achieving performance in uh, one of the uh, top charted games that came out a few days ago, Watch Dogs. And uh, the driver was also released a few days after it. And the, the reason for that being is because the game was having a lot of issues with the previous driver. Um, it was unstable, we were losing a lot of frames while we were driving around. Um, there were also issues with top and uh, graphics cards for desktop uh, systems as well. And even myself, I mean, I uh, tested the game out. I uh, downloaded the game and I was uh, playing the game, but uh, I was able to hit around 50 frames of medium settings and um, was able to just hit uh, around 60 frames on low settings. But as soon as I changed to high and ultra, I lost significant frames. Ultra uh, led the frames to drop to around 15 to 13 minimum and 18 at the highest. So average frame about 16 frames per second, which was highly unplayable and uh, therefore. Uh, this driver was was intended to uh, improve all those issues so we'll be probably able to hit around maybe 25 24 in ultra with this driver i believe i mean uh the only the only way i was able to run the game um was with some custom settings that i personally uh, uh set for, for the game to run in order for it to be playable now one of the best graphics out of it so if you go to the display uh settings in the game you would see that i've set mine to these settings over here uh, where we have the uh, uh, textures set to ultra and I would say 3 gigs of memory for a graphic card I only have 2 gigs but I reckon it's getting backed up from my uh, RAM which is 16 gigs that, that's kind of helping this out in, in ultra textures and the anti-aliasing since I'm using a laptop it was only able to run at FXAA although it was able to run it on SMAA but uh, the only problem was that it would lag at certain times with FXAA it was quite stable uh, moving on to the graphics quality settings, you can see that uh, overall quality was set to the customs now. The level of detail was ultra, shadows as always do not matter, so I put it down to low, reflections, we don't really care about that, which was set to uh, medium, uh, ambient occlusion, uh, which was uh, set to um, HBAO plus low. Now, it's, the highest was HBAO plus high, and I was not able to achieve that. I reckon I, I blame the uh, performance drop with the... Uh, the, the, the previous driver so I'm hoping that this will probably improve with this current driver that I'm about to install I had motion blur set up to on depth of field on water and shader which don't really matter to set to medium the has was hot um, now with this I was able to hit roughly around 35 frames at max and 26 at minimum averaging around 29 uh, so I'm hoping to achieve an extra 10 frames uh, probably with the latest driver with this game ready driver so for those of you who are having issues uh with uh Watch Dogs, uh now i highly recommend that you do get this driver as it is the uh, best possible gaming experience with Watch Dogs, and it is game ready it's a game ready driver this time so you will achieve significant performance in Watch Dogs if you're having issues when you're free roaming around driving and frames is crazily dropping down up and down up and down um Another key feature of this driver also other than watchdogs is that the performance grade uh, in the direct X optimization which results in the reduced game loading time significant performance increases across a wide variety of games compared with the previous driver which is the one I currently have uh, right here significant PC CPU overhead uh, reductions in the driver result performance in games that will often favor CPU bottleneck situations so now if you have um, if you have one of those, uh, if, you, if, you, if you have a custom built desktop and you don't really have a powerful processor, you don't have to worry about it because it will stop the CPU from bottlenecking down the powerful graphic cards that you may have uh, with this driver as they've, as per stated by the performance of grid right here. Per usual results will vary depending on your GPU. So once again, it depends on the GPU you have. But say for example, you had a really powerful GPU and your processor was all right. Say it was i3 or was a... Uh, uh, AMD uh, FX6 core processor, 4 core processor, and uh, in that case, this will just uh, it will perform uh, practically fine without any issues. Um, some other uh, improvements in this uh, driver also, which are aimed towards 4K resolutions and uh, uh, 2K, I would say that this would be 2K resolutions. That, yeah. Something that's higher than 1080p. Uh, those resolutions have been improved, and you're able to play. Uh, these games and, and, and these resolutions. So starting with Call of Duty Ghost, F1 2013, Hitman, Absolution. You can see that there's not many games um, 
such as Battlefield 4 is in here yet. Uh, I believe they're still working on that. It probably will come in, in the next driver. In the upcoming driver, it will probably be compatible with 4K displays and 2K displays, uh, whatever you want to call this right here, 2560 by 1400. Um, also called Diddy Ghost and all these other games are still supported by 2560 by 1400 and the system configuration that they used in testing these uh, games on these resolutions were G GeForce GDX 780 Ti SLI uh, 335.23 uh, which was that previous driver and then this is the latest driver which is not which is this one yes which is the current driver that we did install uh, and Intel Core i7 4770K, 16 gigs of RAM, Windows 8.1.4. Uh, sorry, Windows 8.1 times 64. Now, um, they will clearly we can clearly see that they've used GTX 780 Ti and SLI mode, so they've used two graphic cards, two really powerful graphic cards to achieve 4K uh, resolutions. Now, I believe 4K would only be possible with using two because it is four times the resolution what we used to be playing at 1080p. So um, indeed, you would need two powerful graphic cards for that resolution to be outputted. Now, I reckon 2560 by 1400 would be able to run with single GTX 780 Ti. You wouldn't need an SLI for that, but just to achieve extra frames, SLI would be recommended. Um, and that's that's really it. So, guys, if you uh, enjoyed this video and it has helped, please do make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any issues with any of the games, or if your watchdog's not performing well even after this driver. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Peace out.